The stone sits half buried in wet sediment, smoothed by time, rounded by movement, dismissed by anyone without trained eyes. It looks ordinary. It feels ordinary. Yet stones like this have quietly accumulated wealth for longer than recorded history, not through appearance, but through structure, chemistry, and geological memory. River-worn rocks are not random debris. They are survivors. What remains after millions of years of pressure, fracture, transport, and erosion is not weakness. It is resilience. And resilience is often where value concentrates. Quartz is the first stone that reveals this truth. Clear, milky, fractured, or stained with iron, quartz is the backbone of mineral wealth. It forms where heat and pressure once forced mineral-rich fluids through fractures in the crust. Depositing silica alongside metals that could not remain dissolved as temperatures dropped. Those fluids did not travel empty. They carried gold, silver, copper, and trace elements that crystallized along the same pathways. Quartz veins are not decoration. They are geological fingerprints of fluid movement under extreme conditions. Where quartz thickens, branches, or shows repeated fracture healing, it records multiple pulses of mineral deposition. Gold often appears not as obvious nuggets, but as microscopic inclusions trapped during crystal growth, invisible to the naked eye, yet measurable in value. Along these same veins, garnet may form where pressure and chemistry align, An amethyst emerges where trace iron alters crystal color during growth. Quartz is not valuable because it is common. It is valuable because it preserves evidence of hidden processes that concentrate wealth. Granite tells a different story. It forms slowly, deep within the crust, where molten material cools over vast timescales. This slow cooling allows large crystals to grow, feldspar, quartz, mica, locking chemical information into their structure. Granite itself is rarely mined for precious metals, but it acts as a source and a signal. As granitic bodies cool, residual fluids rich in rare elements are expelled into surrounding rock. These fluids carry lithium, tin, tungsten, and sometimes gold, creating secondary deposits along fractures and contacts. Pegmatites associated with granite are famous for producing gemstones, tourmaline in vivid colors, emerald where beryllium meets chromium-rich environments, and large crystal quartz prized by collectors and industry alike. When granite breaks down through erosion, Resistant fragments enter river systems carrying these mineral signatures downstream. What looks like a dull, coarse stone may be the final messenger of a much richer source upstream. Basalt appears unremarkable at first glance. Dark, dense, fine-grained. It forms rapidly from surface lava flows, cooling too quickly for large crystals to grow. Yet its chemistry tells a powerful story. Basalt originates from deep mantle sources bringing elements upward that rarely appear at the surface otherwise. Nickel, chromium, platinum group elements, and sometimes diamonds are associated with certain basaltic systems. Basalt also weathers differently than lighter rocks, releasing iron and magnesium that stains surrounding sediments and create chemical traps where metals precipitate out of solution. In the river environments, basalt fragments often host secondary mineral coatings, including iron oxides that can absorb gold particles moving through water. Over time, these coatings act as natural filters, concentrating fine gold where flow dynamics slow. Basalt's value is not visual. It lies in how it interacts with fluids, sediments, and metals over time. Sandstone seems even less promising. Composed of compacted sand grains, it appears fragile, layered, easily dismissed. Yet sandstone is one of the most important host rocks for mineral accumulation. Its porosity allows fluids to move freely, carrying dissolved metals until changes in chemistry force precipitation. Roll front deposits, redox boundaries, and cementation zones within sandstone can trap uranium, copper, silver, and gold. Iron-rich cement binds grains together, often forming hard concretions that resist erosion and enter river systems intact. These concretions may contain hidden mineralization sealed inside. Sandstone can also host opal, where silica-rich fluids fill pore spaces, 
creating precious and common opal varieties prized for both beauty and value. When sandstone fragments appear unusually heavy, unusually cemented, or stained with iron, they deserve attention. Jasper completes the picture. Dense, microcrystalline quartz colored by iron and trace minerals, Jasper forms where silica-rich fluids replace or cement sediments and volcanic material. Its hardness allows it to survive transport intact, concentrating downstream alongside other heavy materials. Jasper is often associated with hydrothermal systems, the same systems responsible for gold and silver deposition. While Jasper itself is valued as a gemstone, its greater importance lies in proximity, where Jasper forms, mineralized fluids once flowed. Where those fluids flowed, metals may have concentrated nearby. Jasper's colors, deep reds, yellows, greens, reflect chemical environments that can be mapped, read, and interpreted by experienced eyes. Discovery begins not with tools, but with recognition. Shape, density, surface texture, and fracture patterns tell stories. Stones that feel heavier than expected hint at metallic content. Angular fragments among rounded stones suggest recent breakage from a resistant source. Iron staining indicates fluid movement and chemical reactions capable of mobilizing metals. Quartz veins embedded in other rock types mark pathways once traveled by mineral-rich solutions. Garnet crystals appearing alongside quartz suggest high-pressure formation conditions. Tourmaline needles signal boron-rich fluids, often associated with rare element systems. Emerald requires a precise meeting of elements rarely found together, making its presence a sign of extraordinary geological coincidence. Value emerges when these signals align. No single stone guarantees wealth, but patterns do. Repetition matters. Association matters. Context matters. A quartz pebble alone means little. Multiple quartz fragments with similar textures, iron staining, and fracture styles suggest a nearby vein system. Granite fragments containing pegmatitic textures point toward rare element potential. Basalt with heavy mineral coatings indicates secondary concentration zones. Sandstone with dense cementation hints at fluid trapping. Jasper with consistent coloration patterns reflects prolonged hydrothermal influence. Together, these stones form a language written by geological processes far older than human commerce. Pricing follows understanding. Raw stones rarely reveal their full worth immediately. Value depends on metal content, accessibility, and market demand. Gold pricing responds to purity and form. Microscopic inclusions require processing, while visible grains command immediate interest. Silver behaves similarly, often dispersed within sulfide minerals that require specific extraction methods. Gemstones derive value from clarity, size, and color, but also from rarity of formation environment. Emerald commands premium pricing because its geological requirements are exceptionally narrow. Opal's value fluctuates with play of color and stability. Tourmaline pricing varies widely by hue and crystal quality. Garnet spans industrial abrasives to collector-grade specimens depending on composition. Importantly, these stones are not lottery tickets. They are indicators. They guide attention towards systems capable of producing investment-grade minerals. Serious valuation comes from aggregation, testing, and verification, not from single finds. Yet every significant deposit ever discovered began with someone noticing stones others ignored. The river does not choose what it carries. It transports what survives. What survives tells a story about origin, resistance, and chemistry. Ordinary river rocks are not ordinary. They are the final evidence of deep processes that concentrate extraordinary value. Those who learn to read them gain an advantage that no machine alone can provide. If you want to understand these signals at a deeper level, how to recognize them, interpret them, and connect them into a coherent geological picture, ProGems exists for that purpose. ProGems goes beyond surface explanations into professional-grade analysis of gemstones, precious metals, and the geological systems that create them. Subscribe to ProGems to access expert insights, advanced breakdowns, 
and the knowledge that transforms overlooked stones into informed discovery.